I'll give you a, a good example in history because I mean we're all there. In hindsight, it's really easy to see this, but um, when we talk about smartphones, for instance, so smartphones, 2008, 2009, you've gone to the first dinner party, someone's pulled out an iPhone, looked up on Google and, and called you out on some story you were telling that was, that was horribly wrong. Uh, and it's all happened to us and we all went, geez, I think I want one of those. And so the whole world was gonna shift to smartphones. Uh, and at the time we knew it would happen, but we didn't know who would win. And so we used some qualitative characteristic scores to try and work out who would win. And we really focus on things like customer perception and um, controlling shareholders in management. And that led us towards Apple. Um, but then we also had, a, we had to have a keyboard in the game. So we had BlackBerry, because remember there was the argument between the keyboard and the touchscreen. And then we wanted an Android play. Uh, and the Android play was, for us, was HTC. Um, now what happens is uh, Apple goes up seven times for us, tick, uh, and the other two don't work out. Um, and so in our case, we have a, a fall from cost or a fall from peak trigger, and it's a certain percentage level that it hits where we have to review the position. Um, and if we have to defend it to the entire investment team. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, if we all decide to keep it, we can keep it, but we can only keep it for 30 days. And if it's still triggering, we review it again, review it again, review it again. And after a while, you realise that actually HTC isn't going to be the Android winner, it's Samsung. Um, or the Blackberries, you know, people don't want the keyboard, the touchscreen's going to win. And so you minimise your losses on your losers, so you be very disciplined on your losers. And then you, that pushes you more towards your winner and you let your winner run. Um, and that's our way of A, getting, there's nothing worse than getting the structural trend right and investing in the wrong stock, because that can happen as well. And so that's our way of making sure we maximise the investment returns from what we can see logically is going to happen over a five to six year period.